Hey, what's up guys? Crypto Capital here. Welcome to another video. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to like and subscribe to support the channel. That being said, guys, today we're going to be talking about a really cool project called Sakura NFT. And it's going to be a really cool upcoming metaverse project we're going to be talking about. Now, before we jump into the website, there's a lot of things to cover here. We have, obviously, uh, plots of land. We have really cool badass NFTs. A big, big, long as white paper explaining the whole game and with the mechanics and all their characters and so on and so on. We have the YouTube channel showing some actual gameplay. So yeah, guys, that being said, let's jump in right into the video. So what exactly is Sakura, all right? So Sakura Planet is a blockchain-based, highly open and multiplayer online sandbox game, all right? Players can explore, construct, mine, produce, fight, hunt, and more in the game, which you're gonna be explaining later on on the white paper. So there's a few benefits actually buying the Sakura NFT. Players with the Sakura NFT will become the first explorers and builders to land on the planet You'll become a permanent resident of the planet enjoying different benefits and privileges from from subsequent ordinary players tourists and there's going to be 10,000 nfts okay another benefit from owning this uh, nft if you press asuki art if you go down right here you can actually stake your nft it says for every three asuki art nfts continuously hold for 15 days you will get one sakura free mint and i think this is some of the art they provide here so that's pretty cool that's something you actually technically haven't seen yet so that's a cool idea and the artwork looks really nice now scrolling down to the website we have the sakura land nft it says sakura company built a space city on the planet and has divided the space into 10,000 areas and sold to explorers from all over the universe to jointly build the sakura space city players who have a sakura land nft will permanently own a piece of land in the space city of planet sakura and can build various buildings on the land the planets, shops, factories, alliances, and other institutions need to cooperate in the space city. As the owner of the land, you will permanently enjoy the land and the right to use and lease all buildings on the land. So you'll be you're actually able to construct the uh, your power land from scratch, and obviously you can rent it to other people so they can use it for whatever they desire, right? So they actually they actually have a YouTube channel showing a tutorial how to build. So I'm going to show you right now. So jumping into the YouTube channel, we have Sakura Land Editing Tutorial. And it kind of walks you through how to actually edit everything. They have all the specs on the left side, color, tools, buildings, and models. So you can pretty much build anything from scratch and basically create your own little city, you know? I, I really like this kind of stuff. It's like a, you know, a map builder, you could say. Uh, this is always fun to do because you can get really creative, you know? And then if you want, you can sell the land, you can rent it. Uh, so really, really cool stuff. And it seems like there's a lot of things you can do with this. Right here, we have another video where they show the entire land right here. Honestly, this looks really damn good. This must have taken <laughs> a couple of weeks, to be honest, to actually build this. So, fair play, whoever did this. Uh, but yeah, it looks really cool. If you could own something like this and you can rent it to people, there's massive value in this, guys. Massive value. Very cool stuff. And right here, we have Planet Sakura. Um, you can see some buildings with some advertisements right there. Uh, I think it looks really cool. I'm very excited to actually play this. This looks really interesting. We got some sci fi stuff going on here. Yeah, I'm really liking this stuff. It looks very smooth as well. Really cool stuff. Fair play to the game developers that actually build this. Uh, really cool stuff. So, in order to acquire land, it says land can be acquired by staking Asuki Art NFT, Sakura NFT, SA Key, or events. I think that's their token right here. So, just by holding your NFT and getting a free mint you can uh, get a chance to get a land, piece of land and also own the actual NFT itself. But we're going to be talking about that later on the on the uh, white paper. So jumping down into the gameplay, we have participate in creation. You can build various buildings on the land, participate in quest challenges in the central city and win rewards, land management, trading and leasing the land for income, explore Sakura special space and find rewards. <clears throat> Excuse me. Participate in mining to obtain income or participate in planetary management to uh, obtain dividends. That's very cool. Invite NFTs from other communities to enter the team park. Submit original work to display in the art galleries. So if you have NFTs, you can play, pretty much place them into your own land and show them off. So sort of like an advertisement gallery, you could say. Roam around Sakura and experience items created by other players. Pretty much what I explained just there. Right here we have the SAK token. So it says SAK token is issued by Sakura Company in Sakura Planet. Right, we have the total supply right here, the allocation. If you want to, you can pause this and you can see where exactly the allocation is going, guys. One thing I really like about this is the play to earn reward, which is 40%, which is great. Uh, but apart from that, yeah, guys, pause the video if you really want to take a look into that. I looked at it already and it seems pretty reasonable. 
Now we have the roadmap right here. Legend starts with the NFT, initial creation, design, Asuki art, mint and sale, marketing and global promotion. We have the release white paper and official website. All that is done. We have glory of Sakura residents, the ecosystem, the SAK token pre-sale, strategic partnerships with selected partners. Everything seems to be going well. Construction of the Sakura planet, land of NFT sale, marketplace, and we have the land editor release. That's really cool. I'm glad they actually have something where you can actually make your own planet. That's actually very really hard to build. So fair play to these guys for doing something like this. And of course, the great metaverse, community creative activities, whole contest to inspire designers and innovators, cooperation with other selected projects to build teams, parks, and pet system release. Uh, so this kind of reminds me of a project, not exactly similar, but it can reminds, reminds me of a project called Spatial.io, uh, where they create maps for people. You can upload your own maps. Uh, but these guys are doing it, you know, with their own NFC and stuff like that. So, yeah, really cool stuff. Uh, we have the team right here, Eric, Regina, Robert, Kenza, and Matt X. Uh, so, yeah, uh, the only thing is these guys are not exactly docs, but so far the project looks pretty legit. So, everything good at the moment. So, guys, jumping into the white paper, you can access the white paper by clicking document right here, and it'll bring you to this page right here. So, they have a couple of roles in this game, okay? Now, I'm not going to read through the whole roles of the entire thing, but you can see they, they really thought about these roles and they're very interesting. We have interstellar immigrants. We have the defectors, all right? A group of poor people wanted by the federal government. It's mainly more like a backstory of each as well. Uh, and they can kind of tell you a little bit of their attributes, high in strength, focusing on fighting as well. Star guards, we have gold diggers, <laughs> adventurer, uh, and so on and so on. And uh, we have also, if you go down here to attributes, we have strength affects the power of the character. Pretty basic stuff. Intelligence affects the character. Bonuses in farming, cooking, forging, etc. Defense, the character defense value. Blood, uh, we have movement and speed. Hunger value, level, prestige, and much more, guys. Uh, it kind of reminds me like RuneScape. You know, like when you play MMORPG games, you have all these kind of attributes you have to level up. So, uh, pretty cool stuff. I always like to see stuff like this in better versus. They have different stuff like props, guys, seeds, herbs, fruits, fertilizers, food, fuel, iron one, quarry, and other minerals. They have log, iron, ingots, stones, wood, and other processed products. So there's a lot you can do in this, to be honest. Animal leather, bones, etc., animal flesh, <laughs> weapons and equipments, jetpacks, vehicles. So they really thought about this a lot and what is it going to do when you're actually uh, in the metaverse. So right here we have the space city and there's actually a lot of things you can do in here. So I'm going to walk you through some of these. So it says land can be used to build houses, own four parcels of land to qualify to create a virtual company in Sakura, own nine lands to be eligible to create an alliance in Sakura, adjacent parcels of land can be combined into larger parcels of land, and a combination of 16 adjacent parcels of land can be applied to one form of a town. That all sounds a bit complicated, <laughs> but I guess you can join them together and make a massive land, I suppose. It says landholders can obtain SAK by staking their land. All right, I wonder what the time, you know, for how long you have to stake that for. Players who own land will also have a chance to receive airdrops rewards, including, but not limited, edition events, souvenirs, NFTs, and so on. This part is actually really cool. So not only you can earn SAK by owning your own land, but you can also do that by helping other people build houses. It says participate in the economy, ecology of Sakura Metaverse, and earn profits. So that's something new I haven't seen. And they actually give you an example. You can build a house, gather friends for a party, build a kitchen, cook food, build a forge, produce equipment, build a car factory, produce car vehicles, build a farm, harvest fruits, etc. Uh, I wonder how the income gets separated or, you know, depending on how much SAK you can earn by that. Uh, but other than that, it looks like a really cool idea. They also have their nuclear power plant, the market, the gem workshop, looks really cool, the farm, kitchen, forge, car factory, competitions, alliance, virtual company, really cool stuff, the asteroid belt. Right here, we have the asteroid belt. It says the asteroid belt is located in the Earth space near the satellite of Sakura Space City. Players can explore the asteroid belt such as mining, gathering, hunting, killing monsters, capturing domestic pets, etc. There's a lot of treasures on asteroids, including gems, seeds, herbs, fruits, fuel, iron ore, query logs, and so on and so on and so on. But says players can pay SAK to take regular uh, chip flights from Space City to the asteroid belt. Okay, this is very cool. I feel like I'm playing. Feels like I'm playing RuneScape. I'm going into what into into the wilderness and getting some rune ores or stuff like that. So this is really cool stuff. 
Once again, mining, gathering, hunting guys, defeat the monster, pets, safe place, and we have the play turn aspect as well. So you can make money by doing different things in this game, by mining, gather and sell, sell and rent game, sell and rent pets, land for sale and rent, land for sale and rent as well, sell fruit, sell food, sell and rent vehicles, help other players build houses. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool stuff. I mean, there's a lot of methods you can earn, uh, earn money. I'm sure in the future they will add more. It kind of makes sense, right? Uh, but yeah, really cool stuff. Either way, guys, I'm going to put the link below to the white paper. If you want to really take a good in-depth look at the white paper and see what everything does specifically, or you can just pause the video if you want, go check that out. I'm going to put all the links in the description, uh, website, Discord, Twitter, and all that kind of stuff. But other than that, guys, I think it's a really cool project. has a lot of potential. And I cannot wait until this goes live. That being said, guys, I hope you guys like this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.